Welcome back. It's time for some more Supreme Commander. We've got Cybran Mission 6, Operation Freedom. It is almost done. I have lived for over a thousand years. A long time. I have watched the war, seen so many die. It must end. We must be free. It's up to you, my boy. All of our sleeper cells on Earth have activated and are assaulting strategic UEF installations. This has allowed Jericho and his team to construct a base for you near Black Sun. They will assist in any way possible. Your mission is to seize control of Black Sun and upload QAI's data core directly into its control center. Firing the weapon will then release both the quantum virus and the liberation matrix. The gates will shut down. Everyone, everywhere will be free. There will be peace. You understand, Commander. This is a one-way trip. If you are successful, it will be at least five years before we can re-establish contact. He understands. Oh, yes. Earth will be yours, son. The symbionts will follow you. A new beginning. A new life. Guide Earth. Make it great. It is time. Dos Vedania, Commander. It has been an honor. Be safe. Alright, let's go fuck everything up. In the name of freedom. It's okay, because we're doing it for freedom. Welcome to Hawaii. Good to see you again, Commander. We've set up what we could. It looks like the Aeon are giving the UEF a beating a couple clicks to the west. Sir, it looks like the Aeon are building some sort of flying saucer. We don't know what it's capable of, but it's a safe bet it'll attack Black Sun. Destroy it before it can take off. It cannot be allowed to reach Black Sun. Ops out. So yeah, the Aeon are building a Tsar. You may remember the Tsar that they are building. It showed up in Mission 6. Of the UEF Mission 6. But this time, we're going to intercept it before it can be built. We will not allow them to build that Tsar. So the Cybrans have decided to enter the fray. It matters not. Soon your kind will be destroyed. Damn it! I don't need any more complications! Hi, Aiko. Unfortunately, without the commanding superior presence of the player, Aiko has been forced to defend Black Sun all by herself. And since she is not even remotely as competent as I am, me being so good at this game, that is proving to be something of a problem for her. So we're gonna help her out. Of course we're going to build a forward base here. This may seem like a poor place for a forward base, and it is at that orientation. But we will need it. Yeah. Commander, we've tapped into the UEF communication system. Black Sun hasn't been completed. But it's close. I'll keep you updated on its progress. And there we go. UEF network security compromised. We are two minutes in. That was hard. Yeah, there's no such thing as network security where QAI is involved. That should be fine. If you're looking at the map, it may seem familiar to you. You might notice a few bits that you think you could possibly tell where they should go. We are very definitely on the same map, 
We're just on a bit of it that we couldn't see in New Year 6. In fact, this part of the map existed, and there was even a Cybern base here. And it was being run by Jericho instead of by the player. We also have the uh, Tech 3 Cybern sonar platform. I think I mentioned this in the previous mission, but I'll just go over it again quickly. Dotted blue line is sonar stealth. Extremely useful. Submarines inside this area can only be seen by other submarines. Which is huge. Cybran Sonar Stealth is actually really powerful, and if naval battles were more important, it would give them a pretty significant advantage. But naval battles aren't important. Nobody gives a damn, so it doesn't matter. That's just not true. So on some maps, naval battles are actually pretty important. But the other factions have their own tricks that they can do. Like the Aeon with their damnable hover everything. I'm just gonna build haphazardly. This is a sort of odd base layout, but uh, we'll roll with it. Don't need to be super optimized. Alright, yes, and grab a bunch of dudes. Experimentals, we have access to Soul Rippers, which are amazing and great, and I'll be building a bunch of those guys before this mission is over. In fact, I'll probably put together a Soul Ripper production line before this mission is over, because there is no such thing as too many Soul Rippers. We also have access to the Scathus, the mobile rapid fire artillery. It's not great, I probably won't build it. In Forged Alliance, the Scathus gets upgraded to Game Ender, and it becomes almost not terrible. But in its current incarnation, it is unfortunately just straight up not very useful. I may build one, we'll see. We should also have access to all these Cybern Commander upgrades, so we'll have to take a look at uh, doing a fully operational Cybern Commander. Make sure that they don't have any Omni Radars out, and I can cause all kinds of havoc. I may save before I do that, just in case. Now, we could theoretically attack the Aeon and prevent them from completing the Tsar during this process. It, it is possible, I have done it. I think you're generally better off building a combined naval and soul ripper force. You get like two soul rippers and a bunch of destroyers and you just sort of sneak around the top here and shoot at it because it's being built somewhere over here-ish. But it's kind of a pain and it takes a while. Well, it doesn't take very long, but it's kind of a pain and I'm not really going to do it. Because there's another way. In a, what I feel, is superior way. down, since that's handy to have.
us the joy of cyber and shields. I will be very glad in Forged Alliance when I don't have to do this. We pretty much just sit here and wait for the Aeon to build their Manchi Schmancy Tsar. Sir, you have to take out the saucer! Ops out! Shut up, Ops. I know what I'm doing. I'm the commander here. You do what I say. Myrmidons, as you can see fire clusters of nano missiles. Tiny homing red missiles. They put lots and lots and lots of projectiles into the air. It's really nice. I personally prefer Myrmidons over the uh, UEF equivalent. I think their DPS is approximately the same, but the damage of each individual projectile is much, much lower on Myrmidons, which means that they ultimately tend to have lower overkill, which is important because it means that they uh, work better against large numbers of enemies. And we're going to definitely build a mass fab flower. Double flower, I think. Double flowers work better with the Cybran shields. This is, of course, a highly volatile construct. Which is why my commander will go nowhere near it at any point. number of engineers assisting. We just want to build a ton of Geminis to destroy that Tsar. Because it's not going to just sit in the Aeon base. I mean, it could, but it wouldn't be of much use to them there. It's going to go for a walk. And when it does, I'm going to kill it. some more shield upgrading. Mm. 
Gameplay. Aeon are building their uh, Zara with like one engineer. And it's not even a tier 3 engineer, I'm pretty sure it's like a tier 2 or tier 1 engineer. So it's taking a there while. There's no stopping the Aeon. Coming boats. I'm pretty sure one of these is a battleship. Yep. So let's see if we can torpedo bomber that battleship into submission. What are you? Oh, okay, they're actually shooting their tor torpedoes. Apparently, cyber and torpedo bombers fire their torpedoes forward like missiles. What? Ah, uh, whatever. And that destroyer is. Really? Really? It's literally lower in the water than it would be if it was just floating. This is ridiculous. Hmm, this is not going great. health sub that the battleship couldn't touch because it's a battleship, ha ha ha. Someone mentioned in the thread that uh, I'm technically incorrect about the UEF battleship being helpless against uh, subs. If you attack ground with it, the splash actually goes underwater and destroys the subs because the splash damage on the primary weapon is big enough to do that. This is silly, and it doesn't count. can probably do the fully operational Cyber and Commander and see if we can do that. I'll have to take a very close look to make sure there aren't any Omni sensors around, but this may be a good opportunity to show it off. but uh, eh, you never know. Alright. Let's 
get some destroyers out. And some cruisers. And then battleships. Probably won't bother with aircraft carriers, as I mentioned in AF6, aircraft carriers aren't very useful in vanilla. They will become a lot more useful in forged lines. At present, there's just no real point to building them. Everything is riding on Black Sun, sir. We can't let the Aeon Saucer destroy it. Ops out. I'm not planning on letting them destroy it, Ops. Calm down. At higher levels of upgrades, the shield starts opening up. Which looks pretty cool. It's just a pity it's such a pain to get it to this point. set up to destroy that Tsar when it shows up. Assuming Aeon ever actually finish it, jeez. Take a look at the Aeon Islands before uh, the Tsar is finished. some fighting going on between the UEF and the Aeon down here. There's the Tsar. It's very nearly finished. Oh look, there's a Galactic Colossus. And there's the main Aeon base, which as you can see is Quite extensive and very, very heavily defended against air. <laughs> Look at all these flak and sams and everything, and there's a bunch of oblivions there just to, you know, make sure that you can't get close to it with on with boats either. Operation area expanded. Oh, there we go. The Tsar is finished. The Aeon Saucer is taking off and vectoring towards the Black Sun Control Center. Destroy it! Set on repeat build for now. Unit limit reached. Oh, okay. Well, in case don't do that. And we'll just leave this as a artillery outpost, I guess. Somewhere. It will 
head basically in a straight line, straight for the uh, control center. Unit limit reached. So it should show up soon. Here's our. Where are you? There it is. Wait for it to get a bit further out before we send the uh, planes in. Let's go destroy that Tsar. Unit limit reached. And this is why Tsars need support. Yes! The Aeon Saucer is down! That changes nothing. Our victory was determined long ago. Unit schematics downloaded. So far, so good, Commander. We will now upload QAI into your ACU. Ops will give you the details. Dostja out. Commander, because of the bandwidth demands, you need to build a quantum gate before we can upload the QAI into your ACU. The upload will take some time, so make sure the area around the gate is secure. Ops out. Operation area expanded. Oh, there we go. Now we've got our next call. Okay, Commander. Move your ACU next to the gate. The upload will begin automatically. Do not move away from the gate until you are notified that the upload is complete. Ops out. Right. Now, we're going to take all of these guys and bring him over here to do a thing oh we're at it, let's oh okay that's the maximum upgrade okay they got the spikes There are five upgrades. I think. F oh, sorry. There are four upgrades for the uh, shield for a total of five levels of shield. EV, uh, ED one through ED five. also great. But what I want to build at the moment are soul rippers. There are some souls and I need to rip them. And here comes the VF land assaults. Let's have the soul ripper come chill over here and assist with defeating the land assault. Ooh, that is not going well. Hmm, that is unfortunate. Once the UEF falls, the Cybrans are next. M1 Strikers? Really, Aiko? Did you really think that was going to have any impact whatsoever on me? That is just embarrassing. Hmm. Commander, Black Sun is almost finished. They have to charge it before it can fire, but we're running out of time! Let's 
Let's see if we can do some power building with mass storages. We now have, or we almost have, the uh, dual cloak stealth upgrade for the commander, which is big stuff because this means that once it's finished, he can no longer be seen by anything except Omni sensors, which are kind of difficult to uh, get at the moment. So he will be very sneaky. Once he's finished doing that, we will go download Quantum Virus. And these T1 AAs are just not going to do anything to the uh, solve the Earth. Sensors are indicating that UEF forces are moving north and establishing a defensive line. You must break through their position in order to reach the control center. Box out. Used to doing this rising amount of damage. I always forget that uh, T1 units are actually quite, uh, quite high DPS for their uh, cost. It's the fact that they are so weak it makes them bad, not the that they can't do damage. Commander. The gate must survive, otherwise the upload will have to start again. Defend your position. Opt out. Thank you, Opt. And while we're doing that, microwave laser generator. Oh dear god, they're coming at us from behind. How did that happen? Uh, gunships, soul rivers, need you to go fix that, please. This is super not cool. Move your ACU next to the gate to start the download, Commander. Ops out. What are you talking about? Ops, <laughs> I'm doing the download right now. Ops. Actually, that's not a very good idea. We'll just keep going with the destroyers. I have been successfully uploaded into the memory of your ACU, Commander. Your Hello, next Kyria. task is to deliver me to the Black Sun Control Center, so that I may integrate with its systems. QAI out. I love that QAI even does the QAI, the name out thing. You're being so silly, QAI. Center specifically to see how well it is covered with Omni radar. Because if it is not covered well with Omni sensor, then I will cover it in an invisible death. Because this is not Forged Alliance and the Tech 3 Engineering upgrade does not give me health, I'm actually going to get rid of it now and get the Advanced Cooling upgrade instead. Hmm. 
boats. Let us go into those boats. And monkey dogs. Hmm, fat boys. Hmm. Well, I have to give back a credit for the uh, effort, at least. Now, this is going to be problematic, but... Colossus absolutely cannot see. Oh, actually, I think Colossi have. Oh, yes, they have Omni Sensor. <laughs> this is not a very good idea at all. Change your plans, Commander. Do not do that. Fortunately, it looks like the Colossus is going somewhere stupid. Plus, I have a face laser. It's quite powerful, but that Colossus is not using it very well. It could be striding into my base, face lasering everything, but it's not. And it's dead. Now what you're seeing here is a property of most large experimentals. They ignore collision. This is very handy. wondering whether experimentals that stand on tiny squishy units destroy them, the answer is yes. Yes, they do. You must capture the control center and get QAI downloaded ASAP. Note. Ops out. We have here the Bunky Lord, which we have seen before. This is one of my favorite units and is uh, one of the more iconic units in the game. Submersible, torpedo, massive, and stealth. Monkey Lords are great. As you can see, I'm building a bunch of them. Soul Rippers guard the commander. There's definitely no Omni out this far, so the commander should be perfectly safe. Compared to the uh, little glowy purple cloaky self field the commander has going. And now, I give you a bunch of guys dying before the Cybern commander can get in range. Come on, fully operational Cybern commander. No, nope, they're all gonna die. Oh, here we go. The fully operational Cybert Commander. We saw it for a brief second. He's firing really quickly and has a chest laser and is and he's invisible and nothing can see him, which is great. Watch, nothing will fire on him. This is one of the silliest but still effective gimmicks in the game and it is amazing. Nothing even saw him. Uh, I love it. It's great. Let's go have that 
planes. Alright, now, Omni... I don't see any Omni sensors around. Good, so we can probably walk the commander in. Should be safe. No way I will regret this decision. An abomination. Ooh. There is a bunch of defensive towers destroying my guys. distinct lack of air force. So uh, let's go fix that. Where did I put my air factories? Weren't they? There they are. Spider, the Monkey Lord's massive effect here, destroying the uh, walls. And we have the commander capture the control center. Jericho can wander down here and start building stuff if he manages to get here in time to do anything useful.
explosions. States. I'm gonna go back and get repaired. Hmm, I've got a bunch of uh, kills on the mall, which is good though. Jericho, what's up? have turning circle issues. Our integration into the Black Sun Control Center is complete. I will now attempt to take control of Black Sun itself. QAI. You did it! Once QAI finishes its integration, you can fire Black Sun. Ops out. Unit schematics down. What? Oh, I have no idea what that what, what that Black schematic Sun would be. From the control center. I am unable to establish control of the weapon. Commander, oh. new orders! Strategic you must capture sun. Black Sun so QAI can complete its integration. Move quickly! Operation area expanded. Well... That's slightly unexpected. And now the map should look familiar to you. Here's the we're in the northern half of the island, and down here's Black Sun. Uh, 
what is the Omni sensor status? Pretty sure that they've got at least one somewhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I do not have strategic de missile defense. That is potentially immediately fatal. Uh, probably too late, but hopefully they are not targeting anything important. Strategic launch detected. Hmm, I have a very bad feeling about this. Strategic launch detected. A very bad feeling about this. Strategic launch detected. This is this is getting ridiculous and terrifying. Princess. Oh. Oh. The UEF will finally end the infinite war. The UEF just nukes the shit out of the Aeon. Bye bye, Iko. Sorry. Oh, monkey lords dying by the thousand. Okay, it should be safe now for the commander to walk in under his pole of total invisibility. finished, but whatever, it doesn't matter. All that stands between us and victory is you capturing Black Sun, sir. Ops out. Let's take out that Stoneager. Because <laughs> it nukes people back into the Stone Age. I see what you did there. I, I see what you did there. Oh no, it's going to... Oh, well, this is not going to go well. is invisible. And now he's going to capture Black Sun. Let's hope Jericho go assist with the capturing of Black Sun since it looks like it's going to take a while. are destroyed, and then the UEF are destroyed as well. Whoa. Oh. Oh, no. Incoming UEF forces! Ops out! That's an Atlantis that just unloaded a ton of dudes. Ton of dudes. Well, it doesn't really matter because my commander's down here. Hmm, Soul Rivers are doing a dance. You can stop that now, Soul Rivers. I guess, uh. There's not really a whole lot that uh, anyone can do about me now, since everyone's dead. Pretty 
presumably there will yeah, maybe we won't have to defend Black Sun. I would have expected that we'd have to like defend one of these things for a while. And then we'd use it, but uh, I guess maybe not. There's the Atlantis. There's the boat doing a stupid shit. Almost done. I have successfully re-established the connection between the control center and Black Sun. The weapon is ready to fire. Do it! Fire! Alright, Dustcha. Here we go. Erased. All symbionts have been liberated. Quantum gate overload imminent. Gates destroyed. Initial quantum weight detected. Quantum travel impossible for 4.8 years. It's finally over. All cyber nodes have initiated protocol TB26. They are totally isolated and protected. We have five years to plan and rebuild. My children are free. Free at last. Beginning recorded message, Brackman 619B. Son, if you're receiving this message, then you have succeeded in destroying the Quantum Gate Network. Earth is yours. Make it a better place. A place where everyone is free. In a few years, the Gate Network will be rebuilt. Someone, probably Dostia, will contact you. My children, the Cybrans, will need a leader. That leader will be you. Oh, yes. As for me, I am tired. I have seen the entire Infinite War from beginning to end. Time to rest. Yes, time to rest. Forever. I cannot thank you enough for what you have done, bringing freedom to my children. My son. My clone. Be safe.
What is that sound? What are you doing? They are coming. Oh my god. What have you done? Primary function completed. 